Hello everyone and welcome to Excel with Jacob. My name is Jacob Yates. The point in this channel is to help you out with some different things related to Excel to help you advance your knowledge set, advance yourself in your business, become a little bit smarter than you were previously. And you know, I obviously want to help people with what I know because I feel like if, if I'm holding in some information that could potentially help someone else, you know, that, that basically seems like a waste to me. That's kind of the motivation that I come from. I want to help people. And today I'm going to do that by talking to you about what macros are and then a way that you can record macros and save them to your computer instead of to a single spreadsheet. And you can access it from any spreadsheet that you use on that computer. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about what a macro is. You know, you hear that a lot and maybe that's just a buzzword to you. But in my experience with people that I work with, there are two types of people when it comes to macros. There's either people who use them, know what they are, realize how convenient they are, or there's people who hear about it and it's just a buzzword to them and no one's really explained to them what it is, how to do it, they've never seen it, and then they kind of feel disinterested in the conversation and maybe a little turned away from it. So to help those people, what a macro simply is, is a way to record yourself doing something in Excel and you record it through a macro and basically you create some way to initiate Excel to do that task. Maybe you find yourself doing the same, um, the same step over and over and over and over again. Well, you can create a macro to do that step for you and all you have to do is record yourself doing it and then when you do it, Excel will just call upon it. So what we're going to do today as some examples, if you notice off in the top right, we've got a green, yellow, and a red. In my job, I find myself uh, color coding a lot of things and maybe it's like, oh, well, green means it's done. Yellow means, well, I need to look back at it. Uh, maybe it's done and then red means, no, it's not done. You know, I need to look at it a second time, something like that. So for me, I found myself making it in the same spreadsheets over and over and over and over again until I found out a way to save it to an invisible spreadsheet that all of your Excel documents can access, which is super cool. So that means I can save this macro one time and I can constantly do it from any spreadsheet that I use on my computer. So I thought, well, heck, if I'm doing this all the time, I might as well go ahead and do that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into recording a macro. I'll walk you through step by step. We'll do the example one time and then replicate it to do uh, you know, the red and yellow. And hopefully by the third time that you see it, you'll become more comfortable with it and you'll be able to do something like this on your own. So the first thing you're going to do is go over to the view tab. Once you click on view, if you go over to the far right side, you'll see macro and a drop down. If you click that and you go to record macro, go ahead and do that. And then here is where you can name the macro. If you're trying to do some type of spacing, it's going to say an invalid name. So instead of doing spacing, you can do some type of underscore instead. That's just um, out of experience. So for the shortcut key, what I typically do is try to make some type of association to what I'm actually doing so it's not hard to remember. For instance, control G, I don't use that for anything, so that's going to make me think control green. You know, that's going to be no problem. So notice here though, store macro in this workbook. That's what everyone does. Why does everyone do it? Simply because it's the default. But if you click down and click on personal macro workbook, think about that like you're just simply saving it to your computer. And when you do this, everything you save to it, because you saved it here, you can access it from any spreadsheet, even if it's not a macro enabled spreadsheet. So that means you can do it in any type of spreadsheet that you have up. And to prove it, I will pull up a second Excel sheet that's completely new and show you that it works. So we have saved it to the personal workbook. We named it green and control G is the key to make it work. So once you click OK, it's going to start recording the macro. And what that means is you need to simply do the task that you want Excel to remember to do when you press control G. So gonna get, gonna go ahead and click OK go back over to the home tab and simply click the green. So now that we've done that, let's go back over to view, pull down the macro and then just click stop recording. So now what's going to happen is when I go over to this cell and press control G, it will turn green. It's as simple as that. And then we're just going to do it three times. So we're at view. We're going to go to macro. Then we're going to go to record macro. And now we're going to do yellow. So we're going to name it yellow. And then we're going to do control Y. 
And then notice now it's going to default to personal macro workbook, which is exactly what we want. Then click OK. So now let's go over here and then we're going to click on the yellow button. So we've recorded it. So now then we're going to go over to view macro stop recording. So now we've added a yellow. So when I press control Y, it turns yellow. And then let's go ahead and add the third one, which is going to be the, the red. So record macro. We're going to name it red. Control R personal macro workbook, which is exactly what we want. Click OK. Go over to the home page. Click on the red and then go back to view. Stop recording macro. That's it. So now we can do control red. We can do control G for green. We can do control yellow for yellow. And you can see how this works in the spreadsheet now. Now you may think like, oh, well, you know, that's whatever. Um, this can actually be super convenient because for some reason, when you put your spreadsheet on a smaller screen, like perhaps a laptop, all of this stuff goes away. I have no idea how to change it. I wish I knew, but that's kind of how this came up. So let's go ahead and pull up another spreadsheet so you can see that you can access this from uh, multiple. And as you can see, this is a brand new spreadsheet. So let's go ahead and test it out. We're going to do control green first. Hey, there we go. Then we're going to do control yellow. There it is. And then we're going to do control red. So now you can see all of these patterns. You can see that you can access it. I highly recommend you to do this to help speed the process up. If you find yourself doing something all the time, I really do recommend you to look into macros. And if you don't know how to do something, odds are that someone has done it before you and run into the same problem. And YouTube is a great source. If you find someone who is solid at tutorials, I would recommend subscribing to them. And later on, you know, oh, well, I can go check that channel. Maybe they have something like that. Hopefully you enjoyed this content. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. And if you did enjoy this type of content, be sure to like and subscribe for more Excel tutorials.